what I believe is like, you know, don't listen to anyone. Everybody's scared. You know, everyone tells you how things worked out, but it worked out for you that way. You can't do that. No, you can't do it. No, are you crazy? How are you going to do that? How? So the whole thing is just, you know, and always believe you're great, even before anybody boy, else believes. Boy, Caviar Kicks coming back with another one. I mean, if you if, if your first time here, go ahead, um, go ahead, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If if it's not, then welcome back. I mean, shoot. I mean, this come, first video coming after uh, the All Star Weekend break, I guess. Well, not I guess it's, that's what it is. But yeah, um, yeah, like last week it was. A, it was a bunch of sneakers that came out last week. You know what I mean, I mean, y'all go ahead and leave it in the comments what y'all hit on, what y'all, what y'all took L's on. I mean, I, like, I was only able to hit on one shoe out the out of the whole out of all those. I think it was the high eighty fives or the reverse, the reverse bread. Uh, it was that pack the. Uh, New Beginners pack? What was it called? Let me see. I don't know why, for the life of me, that's like the hardest pack for me to remember. But it was, let's see if I can find it real quick. It was the... The Airship P... The Airship pack. And you also had the Jordan 3, the Fire Red Jinx, he had so it was high 85s, Airship, uh, UNC to Chicago, the Off White, Jordan 5, yeah, the Off Whites and Jordan 5s, the Yeezy Quantum Jinx. There's a lot of Jinx releasing over the weekend, in the, over the last week. Like I said, I was only hit, able to hit on one. I was able to secure two pairs of the, uh, of the sneakers out, uh, out, out of the week. I paid a resale for one of them. Resale wasn't too bad. That's the only reason I paid it. Like, but hopefully I, this ain't one of the ones I jumped out the window on. I mean, that actually that's going to be another video I got coming, got coming up in, in, in a little bit. Are sneakers that I uh, that I jumped out the window uh, out well sneakers that I jumped out the window for that um that didn't really uh that I could have I, I probably could have just waited and got them for retail but you know like for the most part. Like, if you look at my, if you follow the Instagram, which is the link to that is in the description, it is, I want you up there right now that's, that, like, I wore it over the weekend, so, like, yeah. Yeah, but, so, like, yeah, that video's coming soon. I mean, but, with, with, with that being said, I'm gonna get, get ready to go ahead and get into this other shoe. The, the one shoe that I did get, the other shoe's in the mail, and I did pick up another shoe. Another sneak. I did pick up another sneaker, but that one didn't really get too much. Uh, it, it wasn't really. It didn't get that. It wasn't that much type of riding shoe. It was a low key shoe that I, I seen at the last. Like I, I just happened to like. Uh, it was a shoe I happened to come across. I was like, I need to get it. It fits with a theme of shoes that I already have. I have everyone. I like, um. I have at least one shoe out of each silhouette from that. It's a collab. I'm gonna let y'all know. It's a collab. I have one shoe out of each collab so far, so it was just only right there. When this shoe came out, I went and got, got, got it again. Now, but with that fit being said, let me go ahead and get ready, to get into this other shoe. I mean, and I mean, with that, be, just like I said, like this one, this shoe I got it from. Uh, I got this shoe from yeah from Fine Line Seventeen Twenty One. I mean, like. Honestly speaking, like I, I do the go, I do the, I do the stock X's, but a lot of surprisingly a lot of sneakers that I get. But then again, for the most part, I usually get them early. I don't get them on release, so I get them early. So for the most part, a lot of these shoes come from Fine Line, 
which I is a reliable. Like I found them to be reliable, and yeah, that's. And as you can see, <clears throat> it's the Jordan One Box. Now I mean. I mean, I don't, I'm trying to figure out if, I don't know if this is just like a special box that they're doing or if it's just going to be the new Jordan 1 box. Because I know, because like the fear, I thought that this was just like a box design they did just because for the, that was just for the fearless drinks. Like, I don't know if somebody made a video talking about the new box, this is a new box and I just missed it. But anyway, I thought it was something like they were doing for the fearless, but I realized the last couple Jordans come out, this was the box that it came in. But... Without without further ado, let's get into that. Now um, you can see these drinks right here. The size 12, so you can kind of tell this. If you watch all my videos, you know I'm a 10 and a half, but if you know what it, if you know what you know, you know this 12 is a woman's size, so you probably got an idea what sneak it is. But if you don't, you go with the women's Air Jordan 1 High OG color code is black, dark powder blue, gym red. Now I mean uh Retail price 170. Not what I paid for these. I mean, I paid a little bit over to get to make sure I had them. And yeah. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the shoe. And here it is. The shoe is the UNC to Chicago Women's Exclusive Jordan One. I mean, luckily this this did have go up to like. It was like, I guess, I guess you would call it extended sizes for these ones. They did go up to, I believe it was a size, I think you got up to a size 14 in men's. But, on first, first thing, first review of the shoe, like first look at the shoe, like the toe box on these are extremely, like it's, the leather is really, really soft. It's real supple leather, you know what I mean? Pause. I mean, they, they did come with the, like, an extra set of laces, but it did come with a, I mean, like, a little, cool, dope little hang tag. I mean, I guess, I guess I can call that a, uh, nice little constellation project in place. I'd, I'd probably, which is me being hard, it, it's really me being so much ignorant, maybe, it's like, because, I was gonna say I'd probably prefer another the second pair of laces, but knowing that I would never change them. Now I mean, like with these joints, just looking at it. Now I mean, I probably seen a couple reviews on these, but haven't seen mine, so whatever. So deal with it. Now I mean, I'm looking at the, like the um, what is it, the insole? See that different? Uh, hold on, let me turn this light on. See if you can see that now. If you can see, like the insoles are like different colors. So one, I think it's the right shoe. It was the red insole, and then the left shoe is the pot that powder blue insole. Like I guess, I mean USC to Chicago. There it is. I mean, but like all of us, those shoes, those shoes, like, like really, like really had to get one of these shoes. Like. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the high 85s, I, w I would've liked those also. But that retail was just crazy. I'm not trying to pay that. I wasn't trying to pay that. And then, uh, I mean, but, this is just a quick little show. So I guess it wasn't really so much a review video, but as more so like a little pickup video. I mean, I do have other pickups that I had got before these. So this is not like, technically not my first pickup of the year. I can't remember if I did a pick a video for the, my first sneakers of the year yet, but yeah. But me looking at the shoe now, like looking at the shoe, if if me on the design team, what I would have done differently, and one thing I think I'd have did differently if I was on the design team for this shoe, like I'd have kept pretty much the entire theme of the shoe. I'd have probably kept this same. Everything color wise the same except for the checks. The Nike check I think I like how they did it with the insole with the with the one red, one blue. Yeah, like I, I probably, what I probably did like, like they like either each shoe would have an alternating check so it would have been one red, one blue. 
Like that oil out of man did like had one shoe that was like how well since this insole here was the blue one, I'd have probably did the double red checks on these, and then with this one being the red one, I did the double blue checks on these, and that'd probably been the only difference I did this to keep with the whole. Even though I see like in the color where the UNC just where, they, where there's a theme on the shoe, but because they did it, they decided to go uh, take it like just an extra step and do the little theme. That theme thing in the shoe, I'd have probably did it on the outside, right on with the checks, and that'd probably been it. Yeah, that'd probably been it. But other than that, it was a. This was a. Like, I mean, this shoe was a dope. Um, what's the word for? It was a dope execute. It was a dope execution, all in all. And yeah, yeah, I'm not mad at this. The dope shoes, good. Another a nice addition for to the collection. And yeah. with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. As usual, y'all remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, now we can go ahead and let me know what y'all, what, go ahead and leave it in the comment. Let me know what y'all hit on, what y'all, what y'all missed on. If y'all happy with y'all pickups, if y'all, if y'all unhappy with your pickups, and uh, yeah. Now, so with that being said, y'all be good, y'all be safe, and I'm out later.